opposition leader. Alan Chastney continues to cast his previous UWP administration's handling of the pandemic as a paragon of public health policy. COVID-19 cases are soaring with the fifth pandemic wave which begun on December 16, 2021, showing no signs of slowing down. The Miku South MP, who isn't shy in plugging his former cabinet's management of the crisis, believes, among other things, that prohibiting the sale of alcohol now is just what the doctor ordered. But what do you think um, the, the incumbent can do now to bring down those numbers? Because if you're saying that the same applies, the same protocols, and the numbers are increasing, so something must be different. Yeah, the, 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 re- the reality is if you remember a couple of months ago, I took time to actually uh, uh, send a letter to the Prime Minister. Um, I made the letter public. Um, where it outlined what we did. And, and it's very simple. If you're going to find that balance between lives and livelihoods, if in fact you start getting too high of an infection rate, you know that it, it's curfews and you know that it's alcohol. So it's not sufficient to say that you're going to outlaw or ban a mass crowd event. You have to follow it up with the liquor because the liquor um, creates more social interaction than the protocols really allow for. That's the reality. And then you have to have consistency so that people know what the protocols are. During a call into the Out Goes In program this week, Chastney railed against the replacement of curfew times with confinement hours in his sustained attack on the SLP's COVID-19 policy. While not opposed to in-person classes, he took a swipe at the plan to resume school amid the fifth wave. Right now, nobody even knows what time the the, the consignment is. It's it's too inconsistent. And the reality is, if in fact the government had taken the precaution earlier in the 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 Christmas season, we would have minimized what's going on. Now, you cannot tell me that you think that going back to school is important if you didn't do that. You cannot tell me that you think that livelihoods are important if you didn't do that. Because those are some of the sacrifices that we have to be able to make for our long-term benefit. The reality is now um, we're at 3,300 cases. I'm telling you that in 18 months we had 5,500 cases. They're, they're almost two-thirds of that in one, in one period, far less in 18 months. So if you're going to follow a science, I would say to you that the science of, of my administration was substantially more effective um, than what is currently going on. However, detractors point out that the country was not faced with the full-blown specter of the lethal Delta strain and highly contagious Omicron variant when Chastney presided over the country. Moreover, there has been a marked increase in the level of testing. But Chastney has dismissed this argument as he compares and contrasts numbers in touting pandemic figures. The reality is how it's spread, it's the same way. The the, the same protocols apply. Um, What's disheartening with this government is that they had the evidence of 18 months of management of COVID in a very successful way. I mean, when you look at the fact that in the first 18 months, there was 80 deaths or 88 deaths um, and 5,500 cases. Since then, in five months, one third of the time, they have 230 deaths more deaths, um, and that they have um, uh, 11,300 cases that have been affected. Um, And even right now, the government knew going into the Christmas season that that was a potential for a mass spread, Um, but they took no precautionary action. The former prime minister insists that a more consistent and tougher stance on protocols as well as enforcement is required to curb cases. However, the Philip J. Pierre administration is adamant that it will treat the pandemic as a public health matter and not criminalize the response in a bid to build public trust and cooperation to ensure social cohesion in overcoming the crisis. Solis Alfred, HTS News Force.